Hi there, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Pride Academy. Learn with fun physics section. Uh, and I have requested by few of the students to highlight the derivation of the kinetic and potential energy. So here we go. Potential energy. Why the gravitational potential energy is equal to the mass acceleration due to gravity and height. By definition, as we know, the energy that possesses in a body due to height is called gravitational potential energy. For example, let's say we have a ball and we apply the force to lift at a certain height of the body of having mass m, the certain height which is actually the displacement. So, according to the definition of energy, which is the ability of doing work, so the change in energy which is equal to the work done. So, gravitational potential energy will be equal to the force and displacement. As we know, here the force is actually the weight and which is calculated by mg mass m acceleration due to gravity. So, this equation will be changed as m force is replaced by mg and the displacement is replaced by the height h. So, the potential energy formula will be equal to mgh. Okay, now the kinetic energy. Why the kinetic energy is equal to the half of mass and the square of the velocity. So, velocity V mass for M and for the force we have A F and A, A for the acceleration. As you know the definition of a kinetic energy, energy that possesses in a body due to its motion. For example, we have a mass and we apply the force to drive from one point to another. So the the, uh, the distance change in distance will be equal to a d and which is also actually a displacement. If you draw a graph between the velocity versus time, we will have a straight line which is actually the acceleration. So if you draw the perpendicular with uh, v and t, so the right at the area under the curve will be the distance covered by the body so which will be equal to the half of length into width which is v and t so according to the definition of energy change energy change is equal to the work done and kinetic energy is equal to the force and displacement so according to the second law force is equal to the mass and acceleration and acceleration is equal to the velocity per unit time so what we do we replace force with m a and the displacement which is actually the total distance covered we will replace with half of velocity and time acceleration will be changed with with replaced with velocity per unit time so time will be cancelled out so we will get a kinetic energy formula half of m v square thank you for watching